Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, 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 Court Channel. Listen, I'm just going to talk for a minute, okay? I want to explain a couple things to you. Um, I know in the last couple of videos I did, I was like exhausted. My energy was like spent, okay? Um, I love all you guys, all right? But there's just there's so much karma on my board. And it can become very exhausting, okay? Because um, it pulls a lot from me, okay? Um, and I get it. We all deal with comic stuff all the time, guys. It's karma. It comes your way whether you, you can't stop karma, okay? It's, it's a lesson. It, can you be prepared for it? You can, okay? You can, you know... You can try to prepare for it. Okay, you can't stop it. You can work with it. You can work with the energy. So it's important to me to explain karma, okay? Because I don't know if you guys really know. I think everyone's like, oh, karma's a bitch. Well, yeah, karma can definitely be a bitch, okay? But it's a bitch because you don't learn from it, okay? So when you constantly repeat the same karma, karma becomes a real bitch, okay? That's when that happens. If you, there's good karma, okay? So when I, when I express, and I see the same thing on my board for, for months and weeks, and, you know, the reason why that's happening is because you're not learning lessons. You're, you're repeating the same cycle, okay? Um, if you know you're not, then it's definitely the other half that is, okay? So if I say this energy's been on the board for weeks and nothing's coming in, well, then one or the other has not learned. I will tell you, with the Mercury retrograde, everyone's like, ah, Saturn retrograde, guys. It's huge. It goes till September something, 9th, September 19th. It's way bigger than Mercury retrograde, okay? Um, it's when karma comes your way, and you're supposed to address it. So if you see an issue in front of you, and you know it's supposed to be addressed, but you don't because you want to be stubborn, then shame on you. You're going to repeat the same cycle. Karma's going to get handed to you. Okay? So I don't know how many times you want to repeat the same cycle. It'd just be foolish if you ask me. So for for my for my um, followers, it's important to me. If, if you see the karma and you know there's a conversation that's needed and you're watching the videos and it's on you and you know you can go and have that conversation but you're not because of certain reasons when you can go clear up you know, some comic justice, and, and so you can shut that door so it doesn't come back around on you, do it. But you're choosing not to, okay, which is foolish, because if you know what you need to address, but you're not addressing, you're not addressing it, you only have so much of a time span before certain things can be addressed and learned before that time spans up. So when six months rolls around, or you know, a certain planet rolls around or a year from now when things need to get addressed again, you're going to have to learn a whole bunch of karma within that year. And it's not the good karma. It's the son of a bitch karma. Okay. So it's like, address it. And I think that's why with me, I stress certain things and I stress conversations and I stress certain stuff because I want to address it because I want to shut certain doors to certain things. Okay. And other people will refuse to keep to have certain conversations to keep that open or to, for their own stubborn, selfish reasons. And that's when you have to step in and take control over the situation. That's when you have to say, okay, I've done what I've done. I've texted what I've had to text. I've written what I've had to written or said what I had to say. And if nothing can be done at that point, that's when you need to learn to walk away from the scenario so you don't repeat the same lesson. Because if you don't eventually walk away from it, you're going to repeat the same lesson, and, and you don't want to do that either, okay? Because obviously we've been sitting with the same type of energies with certain zodiacs for weeks, 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 because somebody doesn't want to talk, because somebody doesn't want to express how they feel, or somebody wants to be stubborn, or somebody wants to deny it when they really know what they want, but they don't want to admit it because it's not what they want. Well, you know what? Be a big girl. Put your big girl panties on. All right, or a big boy, put your big boy, whatever the box is, whatever it is you wear, and go address it. Look at, hey, 
I understand you like me. I understand you love me. I understand you want this, yada, yada, yada. But this is not what I want, okay? And I understand we have this connection, but right now I can't, I can't work on me and work on this connection at the same time. That's what I'm saying. Like, stuff can be done, but certain people don't want to take that approach even though they know that's what they should do. So if you're dealing with somebody like that and you can't avoid it, then you need to write what it is that you need to write, say what it is you need to say, and step out of the damn energy so you don't repeat the same thing. Because you now addressed that comma so new comma can come in. Okay, because if you're going to let it keep piling and piling and piling, you're just going to get hit and whammed with all this damn comma. No, thank you. You have to work with it. You can't avoid comma. You, you just you can't. Whether it's bad or good, it's unavoidable. I don't want to have a conversation with certain people that I can't be bothered with. But if they're coming to me and they're addressing it and I know it's something that needs to be closed, you have to do it anyway. You have to. And it's and, and for those who keep that door open because they know they're keeping the door open because they don't want to shut it because they don't want to lose it for the lose you for their own selfish reason, reasons, then screw them. All right, because now is not the time. You have to understand when it's time for you to walk away and, and, and find your happy again, find your purpose. You know, if you're watching Tarot, you, you got to be, you know, somewhat spiritual. I mean, spiritual, but like somewhat, you don't have to be to the extent of like readers and certain people or whatnot. But like, it's common sense that it's universal. And if you know the basics, then work with the basics. Um, you know, I can go on and on and on. And it's not that I'm mad at anybody at all with any of my zodiacs, but it's, it's frustrating because if you're the one that can initiate the conversation, but you're being too stubborn to have it, then shame on you. Because if your soul knows that that's what's needed and that's what's necessary and you're not doing it, then, you know, you got, you got even more karma coming your way and it's karma you're, you're not going to be happy with. Okay. Um, but then, you know, there's good karma and there's, this, you know, it's it's all the yin and the yang, guys. It's it's balancing balancing things out. You need it, okay? So, you know, we're addressed with it. We're, we're, we're handed comma, and we don't have a choice. We're here. So why not learn how to work with it, learn how to address it, learn how to work through it? You can't, you can't avoid it, guys, all right? And for the ones that are avoiding it, it's just going to make your life so much harder. And and then you get into the swords and then you get into the thoughts and then you get into, you know, depression. And it's just all these things because certain things were never addressed. And it's not fair to not address certain things with certain people for my cross watchers and stuff. It's I, I get it. Like someone, especially with your twins, you know, they don't want to talk. They don't want to express. And it's like, you have to figure out how to clear up your karmic justice yourself so new karma can come at you so you don't stay stagnant. You don't want to stay stagnant in energy like this. This is, especially with Saturn retrograde, this is, you, you want to grow, you want to expand, you want to experience new things, you want gifts from the universe, you want this, you want X, Y, Z. You can have it if you're addressing your own karma, Okay. Um, if it comes to you, address it. You can't tuck everything under the rug. There's certain times and places for that. But I think when it comes to uh, twins and a lot of my conversations, there's no tucking that stuff under the rug. Okay. There's no, let's get, get back together and I'll talk about ABC one, two, three. Cause that will eventually come back around too. Okay. I understand people have fears and they have this and they have that. That's their karma. That's their issues to deal with. Okay. That's what they have to work through. That's their lessons. Okay. But I just want to, you know, I just want to say, I don't, I'm not trying to give people a hard time and I, I hate being in a video and, and being like, feeling like dead weight and feeling like, like, I just want to get through this video. And that's the first time that's happened because it's literally the same thing over and over and over because people are not addressing karma and people are not addressing what their soul really craves and needs. And you can't always put the blame on the other person because you should know by now that you have the power and the leadership to take over your thoughts, your brain, your, your feet, your mouth on what direction you want to go in life. 
okay? So I am more than happy to be here and help and guide, all right, because I know it's not easy. And I I make mistakes, okay, and I, I need to make them a few times before I learn from a mistake. It's not just learn it once and woohoo, I'm good. No, no, it makes them a few times before I really get the bigger picture, you know, but like, so I get it, okay? But I really, really need, you know, certain groups to really start right now to, to, to get on their own path, to get on their own footing, to, to gain their own footing again, all right? Their, their own clarity, their own peace of mind, all right? Because the minute you do that, you're stepping into a whole new world. You're stepping into a whole new level of spirituality. You're stepping in a whole new level of yourself, learning yourself, like expressing yourself, I'm, I'm telling you, within like weeks, you can feel like a brand new person. These people who are having these conversations, not having these conversations with my Cancers and my Cancerians and my Pisces, my so all, all those ones that have been in the same scenario. And if my cross watches or anybody's watching and they know they can go have that conversation with somebody, but they're choosing not to because they're stubborn or they don't know how to express or they don't know what to say or they just keep holding back because they have choices, you know, and, instead of like putting on the big girl panties or manning up. To, to come say, listen, like I said before, like, I just, I can't do this with you right now. I understand you feel X, Y, Z, but this is how I feel. And you guys should, right there clears karma. Right there helps you sleep. Right there, you know, lowers anxiety. Right there helps, helps you as a, as a soul being. So, again, if, if you can't have that, though, you have to step into your own power and step out of that scenario so new karma can come in so you so you continue to grow and expand and learn and live and be happy okay i know everybody has their day got their days trust me all right but certain stuff can be prevented instead of putting yourself in the, the headspace of depression and anxiety and worrying and overthinking and, and you know, sometimes you just want to pull on their strings and, you know, say the same thing over and over and over so they get it. But it's like you're saying it over and over and over and they're not getting it. So it, there has to come a time where it's like, damn, it's got to click. I put myself in that situation. Do you know how long it's taken me for certain stuff to click? Okay. I also know with me, though, when it comes to me and my twin, the bond is unbreakable. So it's like a different scenario for me. And I'm sure everybody else has different scenarios, but there still has to be that point, regardless of the bond and the click where you have to release and let go because everybody learns at their own pace, their own time, their own karma. All these people always, oh my God, they went back to their soulmate. They went back to their ex. That should be a good thing. Even though I know it sucks for you, it's actually a good thing because it's a lesson that needs to be learned. So say they were with you and they hadn't learned a certain lesson or they were single and they hadn't gone back to certain things to learn certain lessons, it would just it would take even longer for you guys to get together. All right? They have to learn their lessons. You have to learn your lessons. I know it sounds so messed up, but it's, it's the reality of the situation. Like a lot of twins are single for a long time because it's hard lessons to learn. And, and not to mention you're asking for... I want, I want him to love me. I, I want him not to cheat on me. I, I want him to X, Y, Z and her and vice versa, whomever you are, male or female. And the universe hears you guys and your angels and your guides, they hear you. And you may be ready, but you could be waiting years for this person to get to where you want them to be. You can't be unrealistic. You know, you could be waiting three years because you asked spirit for your damn twin to do housework. When you have a lazy ass person that doesn't like to do dishes, but will do yard work. See what I'm saying? So you're getting real specific of what it is you want. But when you do that, you're setting yourself up sometimes. Please understand that. There's, there's no such thing as a fairy tale love relationship like that. And if you think about it, most fairy tales end in tragedies. So on that note, you have to have the yin and the yang, guys. You have to have, one has to balance, one has to be better at this, and one has to be better than this. If the tool you want to come in and control something, no, not going to work. Okay, you've got to compromise. you got to figure out who's stronger and what suit. 
you know, if somebody's better at paying the bills, let that person pay the bills, even though you're used to doing it. But if they can budget better, then let them freaking budget. You know what I mean? Like, it's the little things. All right. So be careful. Be real careful with your wish list and what it is you want from somebody. And I know sometimes you probably think to yourself, well, it's not really that unrealistic. But I, I think about sitting in bed plenty of times after a divorce and being like, what I want, what I wouldn't want. And I go back and I think of all the things and they're pretty practical things, but there's some things where I was like, wow, that was pretty impractical of me. Like, what were you thinking? So if the angels were listening, like, damn, I'm screwed. Like, I'm going to be single for a long ass time, you know? So it's like, be practical in, in what it is you're seeking, okay? And do it from your heart and your soul and, 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 and love what it is you want and where you want to go and who you want to be and don't worry about what anybody else thinks all right as long as you're happy and you're not harming anybody else and it's not causing you know strife between anybody and just be happy be happy address karma if you have the opportunity to address karma address it please okay um, but I love you guys. Um, effort's still there. You know, the effort's definitely still there. Spirit's still there with me. I'm just kind of like a little lagging, you know, and not to mention transitions and, um, and all this stuff. But with one of the readings, it was like, oh, again, again, for realsies, again. You know, like sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish it wasn't more like a story. But then other times I know it's beneficial. Okay, because you're going to start really realizing like, oh, you've been saying this for three weeks. You've been saying this for two months. Big wake up call when you're saying that. So instead of getting pissed off and, oh, where's my twin? Where's so-and-so? Think about, stop for a minute and think about it. Two damn months and you're still waiting around, stressing out and getting aggravated and frustrated. It's your lesson to step away. And to come into your power and find you. Because once you do that and you're happy and you're on your path, all that strife and the pain and the anxiety, all that subsides, guys. Truly, truly does. They don't they don't want you sitting in that energy. It does nothing for anybody. It doesn't it's not beneficial for anybody. It's not beneficial for your children. It's not beneficial for your neighbors. It's not beneficial for your health. Okay? So really start thinking about addressing karma if you have the opportunity to address it please dress it address it okay and like i said if this other person does not want to address it say what you have to say in a very nice way wish them the best and be out okay because when you come to a certain point of peace and calm Regardless of that, guys, I, 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 I've come to that point and I still have my days. Okay, like, trust me, you have to work with the energy, too. If you let the energy get the best of you, then you're going to be like, I don't know, I can't believe, blah, 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 blah. That's on you that day. Not controlling your own emotions, your own thoughts, your own feelings. And, and then, you know, right back to learning another lesson because you... You thought you learned it, but you really didn't. So it's going to keep getting brought up and brought up and, and bait and temptation. And you got to be, you got to be on your game. <laughs> you got to be smart about things. Trust me, I have my days where I just, I want to do the same thing. And you just have to realize that it takes, think about when you were a teenager and if you're a parent now, whatever, you're a teenager, when you were a teenager and nobody could tell you nothing, you had to learn your own lessons, right? Like when I have kids and my mom's always like, well, why didn't you ground her or do this or whatever the, whatever the, the case may be at the time. And I always go back to thinking, ma, did, did that ever work for me? Did that ever or... X, Y, Z, you know what I mean? That's literally how it is because you know, like with drug addicts, like all these things, it doesn't matter 
everybody learns at their own time, their own lessons, their own pace when they want to learn and when that epiphany goes on, when that doorbell dings. Okay. And it's like, oh, damn, I've been so stupid for years or months or, oh my God, I finally get it. That's how it is with twins and it's how it is with everybody. It's how it is with life. Okay. It could take somebody years to figure it out. It could take somebody weeks. It can, it just depends on how stubborn you are, how, what kind of energy we're in, what zodiac, what zodiac you're at on what house you're in when you were born it all plays a part and if you just knew the basics of astrology and, and planets and energy and you worked it in with tarot your life would be so much easier and i know we come on here and you expect us all to do that and this this and this but it's real important that you learn the basics because you can't just absorb everything by us saying this this and that okay you have to go in and study and learn and so you're absorbing it okay so don't don't try to force things out of certain people don't there's only so much you can do with that whole point of that whole story i just told about being a teenager there's only so much you can do to help and to let somebody know they're there before you have to step away it doesn't mean you ever stop caring or ever stop loving that person or won't give that person the opportunity to have a conversation it just means sometimes you know better and you have to you have to move forward and then sometimes you know you meet somebody else and that other person's out of the picture and maybe it takes years for you guys to get back together because or or maybe you don't because you found somebody else it's it is what it is and a lot of people don't move on because of that either because they have such hope of, of staying with a twin, but you got to realize not all twins come together. All right. And there's life partners and there's soulmates that you can live your entire life with. And they can have everything on that piece of paper. Most twins, most people don't necessarily come together. They're here to, to teach you guys lessons because you guys need to learn the hard way because the only way supposedly you guys learn, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it is what it is, you know? It's, there's no way around karma. There's no way around that stuff. It's going to come at you. You can't avoid it. It's like rain. It's like thunderstorms. It's, it's shit you can't avoid. You can't. Okay. So address it, please. If you have the opportunity to address it, address it. Okay. And if you're the one on the other hand where you've tried and you can't, you have to learn to take your power back to find you again to find your happy, to be liberated, to be motivated, to, to go, 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 okay? It's only going to benefit you, the people around you, your lifestyle, the, your coworkers, your children, your your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your siblings, like, for realsies, you want to be happy, you want happy around you, be a happier person, let your soul continue to grow, okay? I love you guys. It was just two, 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 two. And am I going to look it up? Of course I am. But you know what? I think I actually have it right here. From the last reading I did. Or maybe I don't. I got... No, I got all my sixes, my sevens, my eights, my nines. Don't forget with this full moon too, guys, you can still do um, full moon rituals, okay? But make sure when you do, don't forget to leave out the ether, all right? Bring in spirit. <clears throat> oh, I need that extra two. It doesn't have that extra two. All right, I'm going to Google it. But all the twos is all about balance, all right? And a little, lots of other things, too. But it's also a sign of unconditional love between twin flames. It's also a sign of addressing issues that come to us on Earth. And it's also, you know, it's an I love you from your twin soul to each other when you see two, 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 all right? That's how you know you guys are coming together. Like, not physically coming together, but it's the yin and the yang. It's the balance, all right? You guys are kind of like at the same vibration type thing. Like, all these things like all that are on my board, like, between, like, there's the passion, there's the love, there's all that. The only thing that's missing is the damn relationship. But what if your twin doesn't want a relationship? You have to accept that. I know it's not easy to accept, but you can't change the other person unless that's what they want. Okay, um, so let's find out what the, the 
How is this? So many damn numbers. What's the spiritual meaning of 2222? I can only remember so many in my head, guys. Here's a summary from Joanne Sacred Scribes. Angel number 2222. Number 2222 is a powerful number that vibrates to all of the attributes of number 2, amplifying and intensifying. Maintain your connection to the angels and the universal energies and listen to your intuition and angelic guidance. So basically what I, you know, what I just broke down about universal energies and, and how to work with them and karma. Um, so what's this one? Hold on. I know it's the double master numbers. Guys, I love numerology. They should teach it in school. It's a shame that they don't. But again, it's the whole religious thing. But yet we can stand up and pledge allegiance to the flag. Don't get me going. But you can't teach numerology. Anywho, I'm trying to keep politics off my channel. Um, you know, it's asking and understanding of showing us that you need to be gentle on yourselves too. It's a peacemaker. It's usually the more feminine side of a peacemaker, which is ironic because the Sag is a masculine energy. So that's the yin and the yang right there too, but it's partnerships, but many things, the twos are partnerships. Just using good judgment, trying to stay balanced. It's the light and the dark, the yin and the yang, all the black and the white, the day and night. It's all like that kind of stuff I was talking about. So when it comes to the twin flames, it's also time to speak up and stand up for what you believe in, especially within a relationship or a twin plane partnership. If you have been ignoring problems in this relationship, it's time to speak up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Anywho. All right. There's that. I don't know why I look up numbers because I go back and I say, oh, look up this one, this one, this one. And then I look it up and I'm like, oh, I talked about it anyway. But it's nice. It's nice to get that, the, I almost said condolences. So I'm sorry if anyone lost anybody, but that's not where it was going. But it's nice to get the, um, I know you guys are right there with me. And I'm going to stop trying to think about it because I'm not going to think about it right now because my mind just went somewhere else. Reassurance. Okay. Um, but it's time to speak up. All right. For those who know they can address that issue, time to speak up. And for those that know they can no longer continuously try to address something that's not changing, it's time for you to step in to your power. Okay. It's only two ways to go here. You, you got to balance out the scales. If you guys stay in the same stagnant energy between you and your twin, you're always going to be more yin or more yang. You, you have to balance the two of them out. You have to. I love you guys. Have a fantastic night.